Hi everybody, thanks so much for watching my video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. So today I'm working on a piece of my hand dyed fabric that didn't come out exactly the way I want. So it's kind of a grayish blue. So I'm going to turn it into a batik. And how I'm going to do that is what I'm going to show you today. So I just take a small container and pour just a little bit of glue in the bottom and then I take my shape and dip it into the glue. Now sometimes a film will cover uh, of glue, kind of like when you blow a bubble from a bubble ring and you can either blow that out or use the paintbrush to pop that part of it because you don't want it to be one blob, you want it to be a clear print. And I set the shape down onto the fabric and let it sit for a few seconds. I'm going to use two shapes with this one. I'm going to use the shell and the fish. So while I dip the shell, I leave the fish on the fabric. Then I'll lay my shell down and just push a little bit on the fish, just a little bit of pressure because we want that glue to go all the way through the fabric. If it doesn't go all the way through the fabric, then it will absorb the dye later when we add it. So I'll continue to do this process and cover my entire fabric. And then what I like to do is to leave it sit where it is and let it dry overnight. And in the morning I'll take it and maybe throw it over a rack and let it dry a little bit longer just so I can make sure all the glue is completely dry. Now, at times you'll get an accumulation of glue in the corners of your stamp. So I'll just take my paintbrush and wipe them clean. Now we're able to see the stamp in the fabric better since the glue has absorbed into the fabric. I have a half a yard of this fabric to do so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, let it sit overnight, and dye it sometime tomorrow. And I'll be back to show you that. This isn't the same fabric that I used in the video, but it does show the process that I used to batik my fabrics. I have my Procyon dye and soda ash solution in my spray bottle and I spray the fabric. I saturate it pretty good, but not completely because that glue is water soluble. We don't want that glue to wash away. That's why I do it in the sun. They advise that you don't dye in the sun, but I like it to dry as fast as possible so that glue will not dissolve. So my Procyon dye mixture is one teaspoon of Procyon dye to one and a half cups of soda ash water. My soda ash water, I use a half a gallon of warm water and dissolve two tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of soda ash. So this will sit until it's dry completely. Then I'll take it in and let it sit overnight before I wash it. Once I'm done spraying the fabric, I'll take some soda ash and sprinkle it across the fabric. This kind of gives a textured look to the fabric. And here's the results. I love how this came out. What had happened is I had the lighter blue and then the darker blue, uh, both in spray bottles. And I thought, well, I'll just add a little bit more because the light blue was real light. Well, when I sprayed it, it was the dark blue. And I was like, oh no. I may as well spray it all a little bit. So I sprayed all of it. There's little, there's some spots that are bigger, but I just love how it turned out. And it's kind of appropriate since it's fish and shells. It's kind of cool, I think. And that's it. Won't be long and I'll be making some more. Have a great day.